My name is Cindy Tenney and I've had diabetes for 37 years. Well, having diabetes for 37 years becomes a fact of life. Um, it's You have to decide if you're going to be in control or you're going to let your diabetes run all over you. And I've decided I'm going to be in control. I have been committed to Minimed for many years. They are absolutely the best. They are top notch with the technology and there's nobody that can even match what they're doing. Having the CGM and the pump together makes your life so much easier because when you go to the doctor for your checkups, all of your data is right there in your insulin pump. My experience with the Enlight sensor is that it was much easier to insert and it was more comfortable and more accurate. With the Enlight sensor, you don't see the needle, so that's, that's a plus. The threshold suspend feature is a feature where the pump itself will turn off the basal rate, the drip rate of insulin, if the low threshold is met but the alarm isn't acknowledged. So it will stop infusing insulin for a two hour block of time and then it will restart again. So it is a very reassuring feature. The threshold suspend feature did kick in one night while I was asleep and I didn't hear the alarm, the um, low threshold alarm. So sure enough, it did, the pump basal rate did shut off. And so when I woke up in the morning, it was on suspend. And luckily my blood sugar had not continued to drop during that time while it was on suspend. So uh, it was amazing. That was amazing to me. Anything I do in life, I can't imagine not having my pump, especially now with the continuous glucose monitor because I feel I have such a security being able to watch my blood sugars trending and knowing where I am at all times.